OK, so let's talk about our controller here. It needs a model, OK? Um, I have created a little class over here called facial expression, which I'm going to drag in. I'm going to copy it in here, OK? When you drag things in, you almost always want this selected. So pay attention to that. You want it to copy in. You don't really want it having a link to the other thing uh, most of the time. So I'm going to copy this uh, little facial expression in. Let's take a look at facial expression. You'll see, uh, we'll see facial expression right here uh, is our model. See, it's not a UI thing. It imports only foundation. It's completely UI independent. Its idea of a face is not really the same as a face view. OK, a face view thinks of mouth curvature and eyebrow tilt and things like that. This doesn't have any of that. It does have eyebrows, but it just has relaxed, normal, furrowed. That's the only thing it knows about, those three states. Uh, same thing with mouth. It's frown, smirk, neutral, grin, smile. That's it. It doesn't have mouth curvature. It doesn't even know what that is. Okay. Um, one thing kind of cool here, you see these are enums. Notice I have functions on my enums here. Okay. I'm not going to talk about the implementation of those. If you read the, home, the reading assignment, you should be able to figure these out. Uh, but I got some functions in here of my enums. Uh, but really, uh, facial expression is just the eyes, eyebrows, and mouth. Okay, which is specified by these enums. And some of the enums, like eyes, even has a state. Face view can't even represent that face. It doesn't have a squinting. It only knows how to have eyes open and close. So the point here is that this model has to be interpreted by the controller for that view. Okay? The, the controller is going to have to figure out, OK, what does relaxed eyebrow mean? Well, for the face view, it means some sort of eyebrow tilt. And so the controller has to figure out what that is and tell the view. You see? So this shows the primary role of a controller in your MVC is to interpret the model for the view. It also interprets input in the view for the model, and we'll see that in, when we talk about gestures. Okay? That's its kind of primary purpose in the controller. So let's make our controller do that. Let's make it turn a facial expression into something in the face view. Okay, so in our controller, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a, a var here, which is a pointer to our model. And it's just going to be a facial expression. Okay, and we're even going to set it to some facial expression to start off here. Um, remember, we, with a facial expression, which is a struct, by the way, we get uh, the free um, constructor. I, by the way, I can infer this. I don't need to have that, right? So I get the free constructor, which is uh, what eyes. Our, uh, we'll have them be open, and then uh, eyebrows. Uh, we'll have them be uh, normal, I think is what it is, normal. And then uh, we'll have mouth, which will have be a smile, let's say, OK? So this is going to be our default um, uh, value of our facial expression. So this is the model for our MVC. Now, uh, what's interesting about uh, this model is uh, what if it changes? Okay, if it changes, I need to update my view, right? If, if it changes from a smile to a frown, I need to change my curvature of my face view. So I'm going to use that same magic, the did set thing that we did before, to update my UI whenever this facial expression changes. And since this is a value type facial expression, if any of the vars in that value type change, this did set is going to get called. Okay, if this were a class, it wouldn't. So luckily, it's value type. So this is going to get called. So we need this update UI. This can be any function we call. I like calling it function update UI, but you can do whatever you want. Um, and it's going to be private. It's a func update UI. And inside here, we have to update our face view. Okay, well, if we're going to update our face view, we need a pointer to that as well. Okay, how do we make a, a pointer to something in our view? Yeah, we could click, we control dragged, right? We made an outlet. So let's just do that. Let's bring our storyboard up here. We've got our face view. Here's our controller right here. I'm just going to control drag from the face view into here. And I'm going to create an outlet. I'm going to call it face view. It's my face view. OK, this, we used display in our calculator. This is our face view. And I click OK here. And now we've got this outlet. OK, so now we've got a pointer to this face. So now we can talk to this face, set its curvatures and all that business. Right? So now that we've got a pointer to this, in our update UI, we can just talk to it and set it based on what the expression is. So how are we going to do that? Um, all right, well, first of all, let's start with the eyes. So if the facial expression's um, eyes 
are in the state uh, open, then we're going to send a message to our face view saying eyes open equals true. So that's an easy one. Okay, our face view is very similar to our model in that way. And same thing here, closed, we'll do face view dot eyes open equals false. But what about case squinting? Okay, we don't really have face view dot squint. Okay, we can't do that. So I'm just going to say eyes open equals false. If you're squinting, eyes are closer to closed than they are to open, okay? So that's the best I can do. And this is the way sometimes a controller is. Its view might not be perfect at representing the model. It's doing the best it can. Now, it might be, we might be sending in a request to the face view guys on our team saying, hey, we want a feature where our face view will do squinting because we got squinting in our model. And they might be, okay, we'll take it under advisement. We'll see. But for now, we're kind of stuck. So we're going to do uh, squinting is the same as eyes closed. How about our other two things? Okay, we got these curvatures to deal with, right? So we want to say something like face view dot uh, mouth curvature equals something based on the expression's mouth. But the expression's mouth is like grin and frown. What the heck are we going to do? How are we going to convert that to a curvature? And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a little private uh, dictionary. I'm going to call it mouth curvatures, okay, plural. And I'm going to e make it equal to a dictionary. Remember, we can make a dictionary on the fly with square brackets. And I'm going to have the keys of this dictionary be mouth curvatures for my model. And I'm going to have the values be mouth curvatures for my view. Okay, doubles. All right, so for example, let's do facial expression dot mouth dot uh, frown. Okay, that's a key. And the value is going to be minus 1.0. That's a curvature that goes along with that. See what I'm saying? So I'm just creating this dictionary that's basically creating a mapping between my model and my uh, view. Uh, so how about grin? Notice, by, by the way, when I do grin, okay, it's already inferred the fact that we're doing a facial expression mouth, so I don't, don't need to repeat this every single time. I can just say the grin. And the grin will say is 0.5. So it's not a full smile, just kind of a little bit of a smile. Uh, but a full smile would be 1.0. And uh, a smirk. Yeah, that sounds kind of like a little bit of a frown, but not too much of one. So we'll do point, minus 0.5 there. Uh, and then there's this neutral mouth position, which will have be 0.0. .0. OK? So I've created these mouth curvatures in the table. So now down here, I can just be, let my mouth curvature equal mouth curvatures sub expression dot mouth. OK? Now, the problem with this, and you can see there's an error here. And can anyone see what the problem here is? This is a look dictionary lookup. What is a dictionary lookup? What type does it return? Optional, yeah. So this is a double. It's not an optional. Okay. So how are we going to deal with this? What if facial expression gets enhanced some future date and the expression's not in here? I'm going to have it default to zero. Okay. Remember this defaulting thing right here, where you can take something that's a double. And if it turns into nil, if it returns nil, then you can have a default value there. Make sense? Let me borrow there. OK. Everyone's cool what I did there? All right. Hopefully, from calculator, it's very similar to that, looking things up in a dictionary. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing with the eyebrow tilts. Okay, The eyebrow tilt equals eyebrow <coughs> tilts, which is going to be a dictionary. And uh, I'm going to put the uh, facial expression dot uh, eyebrows in there. And I'll also default that one to zero if we can't find it. And then I'll just make a private var here. We'll call it eyebrow tilts. And uh, this one will do facial expression dot eyebrow, eyebrow dot, uh, what do we got here? Relaxed. So we'll have relaxed uh, be a CG float, which is 0.5. OK, so that's kind of relaxed uh, eyebrows. Notice I, uh, oops, not CG float. That's 0 0.5. OK, that's a double. OK, the eyebrow tilts are doubles, so we don't, I did not want CG float there. OK, how about uh, dot furrowed is minus 0 0.5 tilt, and dot normal will make be 0. OK, got that? All makes sense? Um, so we're doing the same look up there. OK, so now we've matched up our model with our view. We've kind of interpreted our model 
for our view. Now, let's go ahead and, and run this and see what this looks like. Okay, now, hmm, this doesn't quite look right. Because if we look at our model, it's supposed to be eyes open. Okay, that's good. Eyebrows normal? No, those are not normal eyebrows. Those are kind of furrowed. And then mouth is supposed to be smile. Hmm, no, it's a frown. In fact, all of this here, instead of the UI looking like the model, it still looks like we set it in the storyboard. Okay? So why is it that our update UI is not getting called here uh, when we initialize our facial expression? That's because if you're setting a value during initialization, did set is not called. Okay? It's only called if you set it later. Now, why is that? Because you know that when things are being initialized in Swift, they have to be fully initialized before you can do anything with them. So, of course, they have to be fully initialized before you can do any of this stuff either. Okay? So, this initialization did happen, but this update UI didn't get called because this was happening during the initialization phase of our face view controller. Now, if we were to set the expression later, this would get called, our UI would change. So, how do we deal with that? Okay? What we're going to do there is something we should have done anyway, which is when our face view outlet is set by the system, we're going to do did set here and update our UI. Okay? So this did set is called when iOS comes along shortly after your MVC is created, and it wires up this outlet. Okay? It hooks up the outlet so it's actually pointing to that face view. So as soon as that happens, now we have a hold of our face view, now we can update it. Okay, so we're updating it both when our model changes and the first time our view is hooked up. Okay? And this is something also that we would usually uh, put on the end like this. Okay, we might even do it here. I'm going to leave this here just to emphasize that we're doing this, but. Um, Again, this would be a common thing to throw on the end there, okay? All right, so now let's run. Now when Swift uh, iOS basically comes along and hooks up that face view, boom, it's going to be updated with our model. Okay? And so now if we change our model here, let's make the eyebrows be relaxed. Uh, we'll make the mouth be a smirk. Let's get those eyes closed. Okay? And we change all this in the model, then our view should be reflecting our model. Okay, and there it is. Okay, sound good? Everyone un understand what we're doing there with our model? 